Bartholomew defined the Pittsburgh Penguins of the 90s, leading the team to back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. Game four of the 97 quarterfinals against Philadelphia was Mario's last home game as a player. With a three to one lead over the Flyers and less than two minutes to go, the crowd wanted one more Mario miracle. One ten to go. Here comes Mario. Mario. Magnificent. Mario has punctuated this victory for the Pittsburgh Penguins by scoring one more time on a breakaway in front of his family and his hometown crowd. Well, it was just a great opportunity for me to, to score one more goal uh, for the fans, so uh, I took advantage of it, went down, uh, made my favorite move, which was open up the legs of the goalie and, and, and go five-hole. Is it not fitting that this game should end just like this? The fans showed their appreciation for the hometown's greatest. The fans have been there for me through a lot of tough times here in Pittsburgh, and you know, I was just uh, uh, expressing my feelings towards the crowd tonight, and you know, it was just a, a great moment. You got your wish, Paul. And so did all these fans. Incredible, what a feeling. And, uh, that was the first time I cried on, on the ice. Uh, it was the first time in my career I did that, so it was very emotional at, at the end. And that's something that uh, you know, I'll remember for a long time. Mario Lemieux shocked the hockey world on December 11th when he announced he was going to return to the game after a three-and-a-half-year retirement. Lemieux will be the first owner to play for his team. I do miss the game tremendously. I think most of you know that I play this game to win championships. And I truly feel that this team is very, very close to competing for the Stanley Cup, and that's why I'm back, to help these guys achieve our goal. The Hall of Famer's motivation for returning was a bit personal as well. He had his family in mind, especially his youngest son, Austin. He's certainly been a, uh, a big part of my life since the day he was born. He's a young kid that uh, gets up early in the morning with his hockey stick in his hands and loves the game of hockey. And I'm sure he would love to see his dad play uh, before it's too late. His comeback allows everyone to once again watch in amazement as Super Mario and Yaramir Yager are reunited. Yager, what a move. Look at him go. Look at him Oh, my gosh. You will not see a prettier goal ever. I think that he's going to be a strong force for the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the one thing that he really has in his favor is he's coming back. He gets, he's going to get to play with probably the best player in the game next to him. So that makes life a lot easier. Lemieux laced up his skates for the first time on December 19th to join Yager and his Penguin teammates for practice in front of 500 excited fans. I was a little bit surprised when I stepped on the ice. Uh, there was a lot of people here and, and of course the press. And, uh, that's always uh, nice to see that uh, we get the fan support and, and people are anxious to, to see me back on the ice and uh, it's a good feeling. Uh, overall I felt pretty good. My legs were pretty strong uh, skating wise. and. Uh, I think it's just going to be a matter of uh, getting used to the traffic again. I think everybody's going to have to be a little bit patient. Obviously, after three years of not uh, competing, it's, I'm not going to step on the ice and, you know, and score uh, five or six points my first game. And how does Mario want to score his first goal when he returns against the Toronto Maple Leafs on December 27th? Breakaway, top shot. <laughs> Mario Lemieux's first game is right here in Streaks and Deeks East. Okay, how many goals do we want, Daddy? Four. Three. A hundred. Three. <laughs> a hundred. A hundred. Well, that's going to take a couple years at least. How about just one to start? Yeah, we'll try one tonight. No, a hundred. Oh, okay. <laughs> Super Mario knew everyone was counting on him. Not only his family, but hockey fans from all over the globe. Number 66 came down from the rafters, and now Mario was officially back. Looks like a Stanley Cup game eight. That's what we're calling it. Buffalo, a loser who these pants are Dina and win it. Hang on. Will we have a video review on the first possible point for Mario Lemieux, who was out there with her Dina and Yarmir Yager? 33 seconds into the game. Mario Lemieux will get an assist. Yarmir Yaga will get a goal in his first shift back. 33 seconds, and Lemieux has had an impact in the game. Let this fairy tale begin. Mario, of course, is only 35, and he's out there. Yager, Herdina, Yager with it. Lemieux with the bubble. Lemieux scores! Mario is back! He's 
He said at the end of the first period, now if I can only get my hands back. They're back. They could write this novel, but no one would buy it because it's not believable. The night was already a success, but Mario was having too much fun to stop now. Who's fun? Great lead now. In front of Nina. It's on the view. It's the pattern. It scores. Her Nina makes it four to nothing. And Lemieux gets his third point on a brilliant pass from the corner. Mario's going to continue that two points per game average. And Mama's cheering. With the Penguins shorthanded, Mario took a break and watched his captain take over. Oh, yeah. What a comeback. It was exciting to step on the ice once again and be a part of this team, and uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. Three nights later, Ottawa was Lemieux's second opponent. Mario assisted on Robert Lang's first period goal, but the Senators went ahead 3-2 in the second. Number 66 and company had work to do. Need to get it back. Lemieux oh, working oh, behind oh. the net. Lemieux will bring it out. Got a screen shot. Save. Rebound. Score! There's Lemieux again. Setting up Jagger. And it's 3-3. 1,000 points for Yarmir Jagger. Deflected in front. Lemieux centered. Corbet. Lemieux. Lemieux centered. Check. Score! Just amazing. The Yager steps and pulls it to the other side. Empty net. Empty net. Empty net. Score! Mario Lemieux! Two goals and five assists in his first two games back after being out for over three and a half seasons. The fun just never stops in Pittsburgh in the last few days, and it won't for quite some time. And here's this week's classic moment. Ever since Mario Lemieux was drafted number one in 1984, the struggling Penguins franchise was hoping he would be the one to lead them to the promised land. And in the 91 playoffs, everything came together for Lemieux, who guided Pittsburgh over Boston for their first Wales Conference Championship. The only team standing in the way of Lord Stanley were the surprising Minnesota North Stars. In game two, Mario gave the hockey world a performance they'll never forget. Here's Lemieux starting out. A penalty back to the players. Recky was knocked out. Lemieux dances and it's close! You really don't need a game plan when you've got a guy like Mario Lemieux. And Mario dazzled once more in game six, leading the Pens to an 8 0 shutout and the 1991 Stanley Cup. The Conn Spice Trophy winner is that bad. Number 66, Mario Lemieux. It took Lemieux eight seasons, but finally he had Pittsburgh on top of the hockey world. The incredible Mario Lemieux has given us as many memories as almost any player in the game. Mario! But one of the most incredible accomplishments has been largely forgotten. It was New Year's Eve 1988. Pittsburgh hosting New Jersey, and Mario made history. Brock trying to cut the angle off Lemieux and Broughton. Lemieux in. Score! His seventh shorthanded goal of the year. They've got the full two minutes. Score! Mario Lemieux, the perfect trick. Goals in even strength, shorthanded, and on the power play gave Mario a unique hat trick. And when the Penguins were awarded a penalty shot, Mario had a chance to cash in again. That's it! Four goals, four different ways, every way possible, except one. Front the new shoots, he scores! Mario Lemieux has his fifth of the game! What a story for Mario Lemieux, is he fantastic?